Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sony Sing Physics. Friends, this video will take you a journey through the revision of magnetic field and electromagnetism, which will be helpful for you in coming examinations of class 10 and 11. In this video, we are going to know about origin of magnetic field. We will also know how magnetic field is created. Magnetic field in nature. Then we will come to know about electromagnetism in detail. We will also discuss some sample questions related to our board examination. What is the origin of the magnetic field? Magnetic field occur whenever charge is in motion. As more charge is put in more motion, the strength of the magnetic field increases. Magnetism and magnetic fields are one aspect of the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. So, electromagnetic force is one of the fundamental force like gravitational force, weak forces, strong forces. In the same way, electromagnetic force is also a fundamental force of our nature. Now, we will see how this electromagnetic force present around us and what is its effect and the example is aurora borealis what causes the aurora borealis aurora borealis is also known as the northern lights this is a spectacular picture of aurora borealis when the solar wind gets past the magnetic field travels towards the earth and it runs into the atmosphere, Earth's atmosphere. The protons and electrons from the solar wind hits the particle in the Earth's atmosphere and then they release energy. And this energy we can see in this colorful form. You can see in this picture how solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field and produces this spectacular scenery. And this causes the northern lights that is famous aurora borealis. How magnetic field is created? This is a magnetic field around a bar magnet. Magnetic fields are produced by moving electric charges and the intrinsic magnetic moment of elementary particles. What is intrinsic magnetic moment? An electron behaves like a tiny bar magnet aligned along its spin axis. You can see in this picture inside a magnetic material every electron behaves like a tiny magnet. And every electron has its orbital motion within the atom. Because of that the electrons creates a magnetic field in its vicinity. The interaction of the electron's magnetic moment with the magnetic field create intrinsic magnetic moment which create magnetic field outside any magnetic material. The electromagnet. An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. Structure of an electromagnet Basically, every electromagnet has two parts and they are core and coil. When we connect this core and coil, from a DC supply or AC supply, it starts behaving like a permanent magnet or it's beha it starts behaving like a magnet and they develop north pole and south pole. They also develop magnetic field around them. Working principle of electromagnet. Electromagnet works on the principle of magnetic effect of electric current. If you want to know in detail about magnetic effect of electric current, you can watch this video 
link will be given in description what is unique about electromagnets this is an electromagnet you can see two parts nail is behaving like a core and coil which is made up from copper will be wounded around that core and it is connected with a battery and this is a permanent magnet electromagnets are distinguished from permanent magnet in that the only display a magnetic attraction to other metallic objects when a current is passed through them the power of its magnetic attraction can be controlled and turned on and off at will how do you make a powerful electromagnet the strength of an electromagnet can be increases by putting a piece of iron or steel inside the coil increasing the number of loops of wire around the iron core and by increasing the current or voltage so these are the three methods how we can make a powerful electromagnet what is the advantage of loop in an electromagnet means what is the advantage of that loop shape this is a loop of an electromagnet if a wire carrying an electric current is formed into a series of loops the magnetic field can be concentrated within the loops and it will be more powerful so that's the advantage of loop in an electromagnet why strength of electromagnet increases by increasing current these are magnetic domain of a magnetic material when there is no connection with electric supply then domains are randomly uh, distributed inside the material but when we connect it with the electricity then they streamlined in a proper direction as the current flowing around the core increases the number of aligned atoms increases and the stronger the magnetic field becomes so that's the advantage when we increase current the amount of aligned atoms will increase and that cause to a stronger magnetic field how can we determine north and south pole of an electromagnet bring the north pole of a bar magnet near the electromagnet if electromagnet is attracted towards the bar magnet then the end is south and other is north and vice versa how do you know which side of a magnet is positive or negative this is an electromagnet also known as solenoid magnet pointing north is the negative side of the magnet and the end of the magnet pointing south is the positive side of the magnet and this is a magnetic field around a bar magnet the recognized direction of a magnetic field is from its north pole to its south pole these are some sample questions from your board exam paper first question is the north pole of a magnet is moved into a coil of wire connected to a galvanometer the needle of the galvanometer moves which situation must give a smaller galvanometer reading so the answer is b use a coil with a fewer turns and weaker magnet will give the smaller galvanometer reading next question is a bar magnet is slowly moved towards a magnetized metal object x when it is a few centimeter away the object begins to slide towards the magnet why this is happen why does this happen answer is c x is a magnetic material and the magnetism is induced in it Next question is the student sets up four experiments using bar magnet and other metal objects the north and south poles of the bar magnets are labeled as n and s so which pair attracts each other 
it will be answer a pair 1 and 2 pair 1 have opposite poles facing each other and pair 2 has one magnetic material and a north pole this question contains two soft iron rods are placed end to end inside a coil the coil is connected to a battery the connection from the battery to the coil are now reversed what happened to the soft iron rods in each case here the answer is a rod attracts and then when the battery connection reverts then also rod will attracts so friends i hope you have understood concept of magnetic field and electromagnetism and these questions will be helpful for you if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel press the notification bell to get all the updates as soon as possible thank you